Michael and I met 12 years ago when we were both camp counselors. CJ kind of touched on this. I'll never forget the first time I saw him. It was raining. We had an indoor camp activity and he walked in with his long hair and Hanover All-Stars hat. We immediately made eye contact, held it, and I instantly fell for him. We became fast friends and I always had a super serious crush on him. The eyebrow piercing definitely had something to do with it. <laughs> if I had to write out and describe my ideal man, it would be someone with a sense of humor. An intellectual who can read as much as I could, but could also quote every word to every Seth Rogen movie ever made. Someone who is fun and outgoing, but who is also a homebody. Someone who loves a good football Sunday fun day, but also loves a good Harry Potter theory debate. Someone who enjoyed Pearl Jam and Census Fail concerts alike. Someone who can stand the ground, but also has the biggest heart. Michael checked off all of those boxes. It was almost too good to be true. I wanted him to like me just as much as I liked him, and I knew he did, even if he had a funny way of showing it, like throwing eggs at me in my driveway <laughs> and jumping out of the bushes, kidnapping me from my front doorstep with CJ as our getaway driver. We stayed friends and spent the summer before he left for college sneaking out of the house. Sorry, parents. And sitting in my backyard talking about life, the future, and everything in between. He left for school and we slowly lost touch. We needed those five years apart to grow as individuals and to have our own experiences. Six years ago, the Curdy brothers forced the both of us to go out to the bar when we didn't want to, and we were able to meet again. From then on out, we've been together and my world changed forever. In the six years we've been together, we've done more than I could have ever imagined. We've gone to six countries, countless cities, concerts, countless high bars in Manhattan. We've created a beautiful home for ourselves in the craziest city in the world, and we still managed to somehow stay sane. You've taught me what true friendship and love is. You've been my motivation to become a better person and a harder worker. introduced me to new people and places and experiences that I would never have been able to know without you. You take care of me in a way that no one else could. Like when you tuck me into bed every night or when you have my favorite Chinese food lined up when I wake up from a hangover. <laughs> this week when I was devastated about the weather, which turned out to be great, <laughs> you blasted Alanis Morissette's so ironic and danced and sang around our apartment to cheer me up. <laughs> Most importantly, you've made all of this easy. Everyone told me how hard it would be to be in a serious relationship so young. It wasn't. How hard it would be to move in with your boyfriend. It wasn't. How hard the wedding planning process would be. It wasn't. You make everything in my life better and easier, and for that I will be forever grateful. I promise to love you harder with each passing day, to be the best version of myself for you, and to always make you proud. I promise to continue having as much fun as we always have for the rest of our lives. I promise to make you wings every Sunday <laughs> and penne vodka whenever you ask. <laughs> I promise to always be in your corner and have your back no matter what. Thank you for picking me. You changed my life forever. And I count my blessings every day that I ever got this lucky. I love you and I can't wait to call you my husband. From the minute I laid eyes on, on you all those years ago at Playground, I knew there was something special there. Even when we were that young, we instantly hit it off and became close friends right away. Most of the people today probably don't even know, because CJ let them know why. <laughs> I used to drive over late at night, and you would climb out of your basement window, and we would just lay and hang out in the yard. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> when we first started dating, I told you that I wasn't looking for just another girlfriend, but a best friend for life. Even I didn't realize how quickly and easily that would come. For me, living at my parents' house, to the first apartment I had in the city, to our own apartment that I think we've made a great home out of, our friendship has only grown and become stronger, which I never really thought could be possible. I always tell you that I do not believe in fate or things happening for a reason, but it's hard to deny it given that we were reunited at the dark horse of all places. <laughs> I definitely haven't been back there since then. <laughs> These past five years have been an incredible journey that I could not have made it through without you. You are my partner, and as soon as I shut up, you'll be my wife. 
I vow to always be faithful, loving, and protective of you. And I vow very soon to get a bigger apartment so you stop falling asleep on the couch at 8 p.m. and yelling at me in your sleep when I try to move you to bed. I love you now and will love you forever. I swear it by the old gods and the new. Allie, do you take Mike to live together in the union of marriage, to take him as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love him from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health for all of your days? Mike, do you take Allie to live together in the union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love her from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, and in sickness and in health for all of your days? I, Mike, give you Allie <laughs> this ring as a symbol of my love. You are my one and only, and you are my very best friend. Allie, as you place the ring on Mike's finger, repeat after me. <laughs> I, Allie, give you Mike. I, Allie, give you Mike. This ring is a symbol of my love. This ring is a symbol of my love. You are my one and only. You are my one and only. And you are my very best friend. And you are my very best friend. Family and friends, by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of New Jersey, I am pleased to pronounce Mike and Allie as husband and wife, sealed together today in law and in love. Mike, you may kiss the bride. Yeah.